Hi everyone, I'm just here to do a quick share with you and today I'm doing a little bit of digital drawing well sketching I guess because it's not really complete drawings and I wanted to share this with you unfortunately I thought the camera was recording this whole time and it wasn't so you don't get to see the complete process of this but that's okay because um, then if I do decide to use this image or if anyone's interested in it for purchase or whatever it's not going, you know, then it's copyright at that point because I'll copyright it. But, um, yeah, hopefully you like this. I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, doodling with you. And you could see the little cursor moving there in the bottom center of the screen. That is actually where I am doing some coloring here on this piece. And I'm only going to do just some basic quick shading. Um, nothing too intense. But I wanted to show you how I do actually get some of my um, techniques. You see that really dark spot? That is because I actually push just a little too hard. So I am going to try to get that undone. There you go. See, now it's gone. Um, that's the benefit of digital art that I appreciate. Um, <laughs> yeah. It took, a, it took me a little bit of getting used to, but I really do like it. And here I am going to go on the cat's cheeks and do just a little bit of shading on the side just to give a little bit of dimension and definition. And I have it set to very um, light sensitivity, so if I press really hard I'm going to get a really firm mark. And I don't want any firm marks because I want this to be a nice gradiated um, okay, hopefully you can see sorry about squeaking guys this squeaky chair um, but hopefully you could see the definition because it's very light on the cheeks there not as pronounced as say on the nose or the tips of the ears or the cat's hair but I did want to share this with you and let you see and I think it came out really cute I could leave it right here and it has enough definition and detail so you could see the fur and the texture and the cat and it would be perfect for um, Copic coloring or whatnot and you can see that the cat's ears are two separate sizes I have that for um, <laughs> purpose my sister's cat actually has one ear is a little pointier than the other um, due to the fact that you know, she was astray when she found her, so they nipped the top of the ear, which I don't agree with, but that's okay. Um, but I think this is really cute. If you guys are actually interested in seeing, um, watching this type of drawing, just um, leave me a comment below, or like the video even. If you like the video, then I know right off the bat, you know, that you'd like to see more of these. This is what I do for fun, guys. <laughs> I hope you like it. And this was just a really quick uh, video just to share what I've been up to with you guys. But thanks for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers. Always appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.